as a Milton Hershey student, John Mack Gaetje was quiet and unassuming, but he went on to lead by extraordinary example to inspire students, staff, and the community. Mr. H's legacy is far-reaching, and he left his imprint on the buildings, the direction, and most importantly, the spirit of our school. Mac Achill came to the Hershey Industrial School at age 13 when his father died. After graduating in 1939, Mr. Achill received a bachelor's degree from what is now Shippensburg University and also earned a master's degree in education from Penn State. Mr. Achill taught business at a nearby high school until fate brought this homeboy back to MHS. He recalls his chance meeting with the school principal. I'm on the steps of the bank, and here comes W. Allen Hamm. So we have a little conversation. He said, what are you doing, Mac? I said, I'm teaching in Carlisle. He said, didn't you teach business subjects? Yes, he said. I said, I did. He said, and I still do. He said, uh, how would you like to come work to school? I thought, how can this be believable? And here I am, back at Milton Hurst School. I didn't ask for the job. In fact, I've never asked for a job in my life. I just fell into the right place at the right time. After serving with the Marine Corps in World War II, Matt Gaetje returned to Milton Hershey. He coached football, basketball, and track, and was named Director of Athletics in 1954. Starting in 1959, he served the school in a number of administrative positions. He joined the Board of Managers in 1974, the same year he was named Milton Hershey School Alumnus of the Year. Matt Gaetje was named Executive Vice President in 1979, and in 1981, became the first graduate of the school to serve as president. You were the first alumnus of the school to become president. president. Yeah. It's like the icing on the cake. Yeah. It's what else would I want in my career? Mr. Achill's leadership transformed the MHS campus with the addition of Founders Hall, which stands today as a testament to his steady leadership. He was also instrumental in the construction of Henry Hershey Field and saw the first female students graduate in 1981. But his tenure as president was much more than landmark policies and buildings. Buildings are great, but what goes inside of those buildings is the most important thing. And Mac had a very, very good life seeing that what went on inside those buildings was great and was for the good of the school. Mac did many, many things over those 42 years that have benefited the students, not the least of which the lives he touched. He was very interested in the activities of the student body. And when he became president, he and Shirley, I remember his telling me, that he planned uh, to visit every teacher's classroom, attend every athletic event. And I must say, I don't think there were many athletic events during his administration that he and Shirley weren't in attendance. Well, one of the impressions that I wanted to leave during my administration was a person who was interested in the students, interested in the faculty, interested in the house parents. I made it a point that I visited every student home at least once a year and every classroom twice a year. Not to rate the people, just to go in to have them see me. And I was hoping that I built a friendship, a loyalty feeling for the administration. Mr. Agel had an enthusiasm that was contagious and it energized everyone who had the privilege to work with him. I think one of his legacies was his passion for work. And uh, all those lives that he touched, you couldn't help but work with Mac and, and not pick that up. And the ripple effect of that, I mean, it goes from one generation to another generation. I'm sure I picked some of that up. I'm sure I gave a little bit of that to Pete. <laughs> 
And I'm sure Pete is giving a little bit of that to somebody else. And that's legacy. John MacGachel retired as president in 1985 and remained as chairman until 1986. During his retirement, he served more than 40 local charitable organizations, continuing to make a difference. Through his kindness, his dedication, and his love for Milton Hershey School, he inspired others to follow his lead. So I have to remember him as a loyal and dedicated individual. I think that's how he would like to be remembered dedicated really to the Milton Hershey School. Mr. Rachel lived by the words of this simple yet inspirational motto. If it is to be, it is up to me. I heard him say that, I don't know, hundreds of times. In other words, I have to be the example. I have to get out in front. I have to do it myself if I expect others to do it. He served as an example. And that often rings in my mind, if it is to be, it is up to me. And that was Mac Achel.